Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are a subscriber you probably know that I'm passionate about rockets, Arduino and remote control stuff. In the past I've built the rocket drone, the Oak 5, a rocket that will attempt to land propulsively using model rocket motors, and last but not least the Crane P2, which is a water rocket equipped with two electric pumps. Believe me or not, one of the most watched videos in my channel is the one in which I put a 1S LiPo battery into a Playmobil underwater motor. This is utterly ludicrous, isn't it? Time to do justice to this video. I bought a new Playmobil 9319 Action Fire Rescue Boat with the aim of showing you how to convert it into a remote control boat, adding also other cool features. First thing first, I remove the rudder. I'll show you later how I steer the boat, replacing the motor because it was completely rusty. I've added two long electric wires because I'll place the brushed ESC, link in the description, inside the hole. Using the axle and some plastic tools normally used to open the smartphone, I removed the upper part of the boat. I bought a small pump, link in the description, because I want to activate remotely the hose, because after all it's a fire rescue boat, isn't it? I've attached two small PVC hose in and out, removing the fake ones, gluing the pump inside the hole. By the way, it fits like a glove. I've modified an old 9 gram servo I previously used for another project, transforming it into a remote control switch. After that, I've wrapped it out using a heat shrink sleeve. A proper rescue boat should have some blues, I mean, the well-known blue flashing lights. So I bought a blue LED and I've slid it into the blue cup. I've also added another white LED to the spotlight. Using some uh, zip ties, I've started to organize in a better way the passage of the hose for the water and the other electrical wires. To steer the boat, I'm going to use a 4.5 gram servo that I'll connect to the fake offshore motor, creating a sort of invisible uh, long rudder using a piece of transparent plastic. I've secured the rudder to the motor using another zip tie. It's time to do a bit of soldering to connect the connectors and the extensions. Basically, I'll have four connectors, three that I'm going to plug into a free channel receiver and one into the ESC for brushed motors, link in the description. I've attached a servo horn to the top of the fake offshore motor and using a paper clip I've connected to the servo. As you can see, it works like a charm. After that, I cable all the wires inside the hole using other zip ties connecting all the cables to the receiver. I've removed the fake antenna, replacing it with the one of the FlySky receiver. Unfortunately, I still haven't received the brush ESC, therefore I can't plug the motor. So that's it for today. Next week I'm going to receive the ESC and I'll test this Playmobil Fire Rescue boat in the water. Stay tuned and please subscribe.